Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. I had a lovely surprise when I came home from work today. Not one, but two Joy Toy new toys, which I know what they are, and two Joy Toy blind packaged versions. Now, these are all Hurricane, the different models. So, this is the XHLA01, this is the XHH02. These two, I don't know. Now, there are two blind package different ones, so, a bit of luck, I've got one of each. Though I could have two of the same one, we will see, but I'll come to those in a bit. First, let's have a quick look at these boxes here. So the front is the new Joy Toy style with artwork. Underneath just tells you what it is. Uh, side is picture. Top just says Joy Toy and the back you can see shows pictures of these transforming mech. Now these mecha are not ones your pilot goes inside as far as I'm aware because they're 118 scale and they're motorbikes that transform so they're too small but they do work as motorbikes a bit of glare you can see there okay let's look at the blind package box and see if there's anything to tell us what's inside I don't think there is so on the back Product ID, product ID number is the same. Carried standard 26701. It's the same. Same, 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 same. The barcode 69731307107171 is the same. It's the same. Side is the same. Side is the same. There's nothing I can see that's going to tell me which one is which or if I have two the same or if they're different etc okay so firstly I'm going to open these up have a quick look uh, inside the display window and then after I will come to my mystery ones and see if there's see what they are and if I've got two the same or hopefully one of each So these are 118 scale. I'm interested to see how big they are when they're in their sort of mech or robot mode, since um, they're not going to be large as the Freeman mech or as the Fear mechs, obviously. But I don't. I'm assuming they're in mech mode in the box already, not motorbike mode. But I could be wrong. Let's have a look. Oops. Okay, they come in mech mode, and they look really quite nice, actually. To be fair. Both look, they're going to have the same frame and same transformation, but both look considerably different. Now, there's going to be a lot of glare, but you can see on the picture what this one looks like. Size-wise, I'll do a quick com comparison in a second and a proper comparison later on. So, if we can see this one here. If I grab this figure here... They are approximately one and a half to two inches taller than the normal Joy Toy 118 scale figure. Okay. Oops. Now for the uh, exciting part. Let's see what I've got in my uh, blind package ones. They say they are different colors. I don't know if they're different colors with different things or just the same but in different colors. So we'll find out very, very soon. And are these, oh, and these ones don't even have the display window. You've got to really open it up to find out. Joy time! Keeping the expense going for longer. But I guess it makes sense. Otherwise, retailers have to open the seller fee and look inside and... And I guess some retailers will do that, or online sellers, so you can know what you're paying for. But then again, they'd rather you buy, you buy three or four to guarantee, or try and guarantee you got one of each, so we will see. Okay, so let's uh, look here first of all. They look the same. 
Oh no, they look no, they are different. They are different. Unless of course I'm open for the wrong way. So we have a big instructions. Then we have a It looks like the desert one, but it's in a sort of a greeny colour. That does look really cool. And there's some guns, extra guns fell out there. And then this one is a, oops, wow, loads of like the desert one again, but this is in a blue colour. Ah, so I got lucky, I've got one of each. Ugh. And more extra guns and stuff there. These do look really nice, I've got to say. The heads are different too. Are they the same as these heads, maybe? So this is the blue one, which I'll look at more closely a bit later. Okay, so you can go to the video description, and in the video description, I will put the timestamps for where is where what i am going to do is i am going to pause this video unbox and get out and then i'll restart again and show then i'll probably pause to work out the transformation and so on like this otherwise i'm gonna spend like four hours doing this you guys will get bored just wanting to see what's gonna what the end result is like um and then do some comparisons and i'll give you my my thoughts uh, so, um, should I do a, 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 a time lapse on this or not? Nah. All right, so if I stop this, I can do a time lapse and I've got to do some editing on the computer instead because I've got to, okay. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I think I'll try and do a time lapse on this and so we can have a look if, if that will work. We will see. If not, then I'll just come straight back. Okay, so I'll be back in an instant for you. Let's go. Time for a quick special announcement. Fly I'm a Joy Toy Store offering these mechs at a good discount and an extra 10% for the first 20 people to buy from the link in the video description below using the code in the video description below. So go to the video description below, click on the link and get your mechs from there for a greatly reduced price and a free delivery to uh, USA, Canada, UK and many other countries so please check that out now and grab yourself a bargain. This offer expires at 11.30 PDT on the 23rd of May so be quick. Back to the review. Okay, they are all unboxed. I'll give you a, a close look. So here is the Nun Mystery white one, first of all. Looks really quite nice. Though actually, even though it looks really cool, it's probably my least favourite. Then we have the sand on high. I think this looks phenomenal. It looks so bulky and heavily armoured compared to the others. Actually, one of his wheels is dropped off is in the uh, in the box here. Uh, he looks really, really quite... Cool, you see the wheels dropped off that leg there, but that's no problem. Uh, and he had a hand off and a foot off, but they're very easy to attach. Blind box one, this is a, a green, light greeny grey sort of colour. He does look really cool as well. Um, very, very nice. They are more similar to the sand one in some ways. And then, you know, with this sort of thing on the top, you can't see this sort of weapon pod on the top. But it don't have the shoulder armor like the sand one does. And then we have the next one, which is the blue, which is the same as the green, but a different color. And it's a very sort of nice looking blue. These guys have got so much articulation I can see already. Looks really cool. Now, I will say in the box, they come with one, two, three, four alternate hands. And then these guys, the blind box, comes with, come with more weapons than the standard two. Okay, so let's put these guys to the side. And I am gonna tool this guy up, look at some of the stuff inside, 
and I'm going to come back again in an instant for you, so back in a second. So here's the white one done with his guns, very, very easy. Uh, a lot of his armor, it looks like it can uh, come off, and you can create a sort of almost a bare bones mech, or robot really. And here is the sort of drone part, which way around, yeah, this way. Which is very simple. I'm guessing it has other uses as well, but I'll get to that a bit later, I'm sure. Now, one thing I will say, they've done a great job with the standard hands because they are rubbery, so they click really well. The other hands they come with, you can see, is like a, almost like a trigger hand. Like this, left and right. Then they have fist hands, again, left and right. There's zero articulation, but these are quite rubbery, so there's some give, which I like. Very nice. Now I'm looking at this instructions for doing the um, transformation and I'm not looking forward to this. So before I do that, I will look at the articulation and then I will come, then I will pause and I will try and work out this transformation process. And then I will look at uh, the others briefly too. Articulation will be the same. Oops, hello on all of them but you may find that on the uh sand one because it is he has more armor more bulk he might lose some articulation but already i can see the articulation has been great and you can see that the parts do come off so you just need to watch out for for that okay so let's start with the uh head is there anything on the head there is a left and a right, there is an up and a down, and he can not really twist side to side. Shoulders, phenomenal. I can't do that with my back of my palms, back of my hands to the ceiling. Awesome. Uh, and he goes all the way around with both arms, which is great. Biceps, there's a double bend. Look at that. Again, I can't get that tight of my arm. So his arm is literally touching, and I'm like, yeah, no chance. Really, really good. Uh, there is a swivel from the bicep and you can turn from the forearm and from the wrist. Uh, there is small ball joint on the wrist so you get some articulation there. Uh, let's see. Trunk. There is trunk. Which is pretty good. And there is a waist turn. Cool. Let's get his, hip, his arms out of the way. Hips. They can go outwards, and he gets full splits, but this male phallus gets in the way of him going on the ground. Um, forwards, he will do full splits. Backwards, uh, full splits again, but his wheel and his leg sort of gets in the way there. So that's really, really good. There is a hip twist and a knee twist. He has a single knee joint. He gets so far, the near wheels are getting away that's okay um look at that foot all the way out all the way in uh foot does come off quite easily so watch out for that um he has a phenomenal tippy toe he is a robot ballerina and then his dorsiflexation his uh tee -hee, his michael jackson again is going to be some of the best you've seen in the action figure. Look at that. Really, really, really good. And also, I've just... I've just realised that his knees have reverse bend as well. So if you do that with his knees, you know, that would be my knees dislocated and breaking if I tried that. So phenomenal articulation. Really stiff joints in the ankles, which I like, but the foot... I think maybe comes off a touch too easy. It's also worth noting that the wheels, looking at the wheels, they are not going to spin because they are only half wheels. So presumably in motorbike mode, they are hiding or something. We will see. Great articulation. I think they look fantastic in robot mode. If you don't like the wheels, you can just pull the wheels out. Yeah, they come out. I can see. And you can have it just as a robot, which I might be tempted to do. I don't know, but I will try in bike mode first of all and see what I think. So he's got a knee twist and a thigh twist, thigh turn as well. So 
great articulation, has to be said, and these look great. If I get a 118 scale figure, and I use these, the same figure I used earlier, I use them, um, it's one of, the, one of my fav, favorite Joyto figures. I use this again later on when they're in bike mode. You get an idea of scale. They scale really quite nicely. In fact, before I go to bike mode, Let's have a look with the Fear 2 mech. And so they are approximately just under half the size of a Fear mech. But they do work quite well together too, you know. If you have a few of these walking around in the Fear mech in the center, that'll look really quite nice. And he will be in sister videos if you've not seen that review yet. I imagine you have, because I guess most Joy Toy fans have already. Uh, okay, let's put them down there. Okay, so let's give you a closer look at the other ones now. So Sand one again. He's got these extra shoulder armor pieces, which also have their own independent articulation. So that won't impede his. He looks pretty much the same. You can see that he's one of his wheels off this leg is inside his box still. Um, okay, chest armor is articulated. I'm guessing that also comes out quite easily. There we go. So you can have a more plain looking mech if you wanted to, but that looks pretty cool with the chest armor. Crutch armor, again, it's got some articulation, so I'm guessing it would come out. I think he looks awesome. He reminds me of a trans. I know he's a transforming transformer, but he reminds me of a specific transformer. I just can't think which one. Um, then we have our blind packaged ones, and again, they have the same articulation, but they do look rather cool. It has to be said. I do like them. I'm glad I got both. But to be honest, if I had two of one, I would not be upset because I think they are both really nice colour schemes. And the white one's going to be a nice match with the uh, when the snow fear mech or the Arctic, whatever it's called, fear mech comes out later this year. Okay, so now I'm going to spend the next 14 years trans trying to work out how to transform these into motorbikes. And so uh, I guess I'll do one or maybe I'll do three since both the blind package ones should look the same well there's a small difference in the aroma well we'll see okay if it takes a long time i will do one if i can do it quite quickly i will do two three or maybe all four so i'll be back in a moment stay tuned okay so transformation done now i haven't done this really tightly or nicely because i was trying to rush it and i'll say this the process is too convoluted and instructions aren't a hundred percent accurate because in some pictures the hips are reversed, so you reverse them. Then you get to the end, they've gone back to the other way. Like, oh, I've got to reverse them again. Why? As in, take them off and put them back on. Um, so I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say I enjoyed the transformation process. And I had loads of transformers as a kid, and it's made me doubt my childhood skills at transforming transformers. Um, it looks all right. I mean, I've got a big gap there because I've not done it properly. That's where the seat is, and it's got a kickstand and some clever features like the. Handles for the gun, they come off and they make the handlebars, which you can just about see here and here on the motorbike. Scale-wise, it scales very, very nicely with our with our figures here. So it's good. If you want to see is compared to the acid rain, you can see that's what should be that you can see here. So the uh Joy Toy Transforming Mech version is longer, slightly higher, it's definitely wider, but you'd expect that of all the moving parts it's got as well. Does it look nicer? Hmm. In some things, but I, I definitely prefer the Acid Rain one. Um, do I want to set a person on this bike? Not really. Um, some of the, <laughs> I'd say the reason why. The handlebars, like particularly my left one here, is so easy to come out. It's not a tight fit whatsoever. The right one is a lot better. Um, 
I am tempted just to keep these in mech mode and just take off all the bike wheels and paraphernalia and whatnot. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to... Uh, I don't want to transform him back. No, it'll take too long. <laughs> I, I am going to put him here. I will compare him to like a my sand buggy, which I repainted. This is Treehouse, Treehouse Kids Toys. Treehouse Kids Incorporated. I got one of these and I repainted it. I'll put the review. It's just a video. Just get an idea of scale to a buggy. And again, it scales pretty well. Get a nice sort of view of the uh, comparison of size there. Uh, let's get a couple more size comparisons. So let's me see over somewhere where we're okay. Over here, I have my SAS Mech, which is phenomenal. If you're not seeing the review, I do recommend it. I do recommend you getting one. This is supposed to be 160 scale, but it scales so well. 118 has got loads of die cast parts, it's actually quite heavy. So you could compare these together, they can work in the same universe. You've got your, your uh, bike here. This is a Bandai 30 minute missions kit. Again, scales well. All these things work really well together. But again, I am I will get around to eventually changing the back to mech mode. I am not going to transform the others into bike mode. The bike mode looks all right, but they look far better as... I'll keep calling them mechs as robots, and that is what I am going to keep them as, I think. Uh, but I may take off the bike paraphernalia from it and whatnot. Because they do have great articulation. Just some of the holes where you put the pegs into aren't deep enough, so like the feet come off too easy and and so on. But they are all round very, very nice. Let's get like a family sort of shot in. Ooh. These two guys out. All in all, I like them. I think I think they should have gone for the transforming process, or they should have made it simpler. Um, even with clear instructions, I think there's too many steps, like 20 steps, and there's too many to take this off, put this back on. And some of the things are really clever, like the wheels do actually spin. They half and they connect, so it's really quite good. And it's a good first foray, a good first attempt. But if they can improve it in the future, keep it simpler and nicer, then, yeah, maybe you can try again. But I prefer these as mini robots. I think they look really, really quite cool. Okay, this is Awesome Action Toys, and I am signing out. Let's put the, uh, these ones at the front, because these are the uh, blind box ones. Saying, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back to the more Awesome Action Toys videos for you. Stay happy, keep collecting, and check out the rest of my content for more awesome Action Toys video reviews on Joy Toy, Acid Rain World, bigger and smaller scales, not just 118. Bye-bye.